Hello Internet. In last video, we implemented authorization and resolvers for display name update. In this video, we will continue to implement resolvers for other mutations and queries. So for that, let's go to our prototype and let's continue with our profile page. So we will, we have a functionality to update the display name. Uh, this update avatar, we will leave it for last. Now let's concentrate on this logout functionality. We need to implement a resolver for this logout. So typically what is done on uh, the logout functionality on UI is to delete that token. So the token will not be sent to backend for any requests and that's how the front end will deal with logout. However, on back end, the token is still valid because it has not expired. If you remember, we put this expire sin as one day. So this token is valid for one whole day from the time uh, the token was created. Even though the user clicked logout, this, this token remains valid in the back end. So, we need to implement the logout functionality in backend uh, to make this logout functionality foolproof. Otherwise, there might be chances that they, uh, some, if someone has access to that token and they can be used even after user clicks logout to, uh, to continue to do the operations only an authorized user can continue. So I have created this video nine branch uh, from the main and we will start coding here. So this JWT or JSON web token uh, is not for session storage. So it doesn't have a functionality to uh, manually or on demand expire the token. Once this is set along with this expires in uh, field, the JSON web token will remain valid for that duration. There is no on-demand or manual force expiry of the token. So the way we need to implement, one way to implement this logout functionality in backend is to store those tokens in some kind of a cache or database and do the lookup after logout to see whether that token exists there or not. So we will, there are a couple of options. One is to use uh, a Redis, the in-memory database, or we can also use for our purposes, we can use node cache. That node cache uh, will be more than sufficient for our purposes. So let's go to the terminal and start installing the node cache. So while the node cache is installing, let's go to this user type def and we need to define a mutation for logout. So we had defined register, login and update date display name. So let's say logout. The logout doesn't need any parameters. So if the user is logged in, user can log out. And let's define the output as boolean. Let's save the user type def. And for models, also we don't need to do any changes. Okay, so now the package is installed. Let's run our starter script. Also, let's check the package.json. The node cache is installed. The node cache 5.1.2 is installed. Okay, so the server is up. Uh, 
let's create a util folder at the root level and within that folder let's create cache.js so here we need to require node cache and let's call it cache then let's instantiate it book club cache is equal to new cache and we will simply export this okay so we need access to this cache in two places one is in user resolver and one in index so let's go to the user resolver and let's get the cache is equal to require and we need to go one level up one more level up go to util and cache so now in mutations we had defined the register login and update display name let's create logout functionality with an arrow function so for login we don't use parent we even don't have any arguments but we need the context and specifically me object within the context uh, this is logout so for logout first we need to check is if the user is still logged in if user is not logged in throw error throw new error something went wrong if we have user then we need to get the token for that user and we need to save that in the cache so bc cache the first it takes three parameters the first is uh, the key so we will be saving token and the value uh, for our purpose it doesn't matter what value what specific value is saved so let's just use iat uh, the token created at date and the third argument is the ttl the time in seconds after which the bc cache key value pair will be deleted now this the whole logout functionality at bankend we need to take care only for certain duration in the when the token is created we have defined we have defined the expires in date so regardless in this case we have said it is one day so regardless whether user has logged out or not this always expires in this one day which we have provided here in row number 45 so what we need to do is we need to save this hash we need to save this token in this in memory cache only from the time the user has clicked logout till the token expires by itself once the token expires by itself then we can clean the cache so that we don't run out of the memory so how do we calculate the time it takes it should be uh, the token should be saved in cache the way to do that is we have uh, an expired at exp on me object so that is the epoch in seconds 
when the token will expire then we need to subtract that with the current time the current time is the uh, log, user clicked on logout button and this uh, resolver is triggered so from this time onwards till the epoch time of web token expiry we need to save this in cache so let's get the current epoch time so we can get that by new date dot get time so this returns epoch in milliseconds so we need to convert into seconds and because we are dealing with um, division so let's just use mat.seal or mat.floor uh, any of these two functionality to truncate or to round it to integer so we got bc cache of saving this token as a key the value is iat epoch time and the expiry time is uh, from the expiry we are uh, subtracting the current time so let's just call it success so it returns if this cache write is successful then uh, it returns a true value so if success then return true or we can write the other way around if it is not successful then let's say throw new error error in caching if the success didn't does not go through this if condition that means it is true so we are able to save this in the hash key so this is uh, one part of logout so what we need to do is when we are determining this get user so before we look for uh, jwt verify we need to verify that whether this token is in cash so if it is in cash that means the user has clicked logout so we shouldn't be returning the current user we should return a null value so to do that let's first get uh, the cash so let's call it the cash is equal to require where in index so let's go to util slash cash so if the token is there then bc cash dot get what we need to get we need to get token so it returns a value so if there is no value if that key doesn't exist if the token does not exist then cash will return undefined so when it undefined when it undefines that means the user has not clicked logout so if the value is not undefined then let's go with the current user and right now we are just passing current user the current user means it is the payload however on me object we also need token so let's change that by adding uh, token here in return value of get so for that we can use spread operator and current user and include token so if the cash value returned is uh, not undefined that means the user has logged out then we can define null so when we are defining this uh, when we are getting the current user we are checking whether the user is logged out 
if it is logged out then we will return null otherwise we will return the current user along with the token so let's test this out let's go to the playground let's first log in we got this token so let's save this here and uh, let's run this display up name update which needs user to be logged in right and the uh, value or the input for display name is this okay so we are already logged in and we are passing the same token here in the header we gave the variables to display name input uh, mutation so now the mutation worked we are getting the updated name let's change it let's fire the logout functionality Okay, there is an error let's root cause okay let's go to VS code um, let's go to logout functionality BC cache of course BC cache is not a function yeah, we need to call set function on BC cache and also BC cache set then we define success okay so we need to look for this success key there was a typo here so let's run it Okay, let's try the logout one more time. Okay, so now we got a success message saying that the logout is fine. Let's try with the same uh, token. Let's try updating the name. The name is, yeah, okay, display name. Okay. So now you see we are getting this error message that you need to log in to update the display name. That means our logout functionality worked fine. Let's go to our profile page. And here uh, the middle section is books owned. So we need to re resolve the mutations for add book. So for add book, um, it is kind of a workflow. First we need to create an author and then create the books so let's handle that now going to vs code let's open the files let's go to author type def let's move it on the side so what we have in author is a query and um, and a type of author id name and alphabets so first we need to define a mutation type mutation uh, mutation name is add author it takes in a type of input we calling author input its return type should be the author created so let's define this author input let's make it not nullable input author input so we need name and accolades both are strings now uh, if we go let's save this add author type def now we will most probably get an error 
okay so the error is because of this in index we are merging the schemas first we are calling book type def then we are calling author type def and then user type def so in user type def we have query which we are extending and we are calling mutation as uh, type mutation we are not calling it as extend mutation the reason for that is uh, let's go open the book in book we have the query and there is no mutation so when the index when the index uh, gets this book type it gets the query and it gets no mutation so in author type def when it is merged we have to extend the query but there is no mutation in book so we have to define it as type mutation but when we go to user type def we also again define the mutation so here we need to call it as extend type mutation okay so this is taken care and finally when we define mutation here in also book then uh, in author and in user type we will have extend type query and extend type mutation uh, now let's go to the models in models we had defined user model uh, so let's define author model is equal to new mongoose dot schema we need name of type string accolades accolades as string so let's call constant author collection is equal to mongoose dot model author collection author model then uh, let's send a object of user collection and author collection okay uh, here in index what we need to do is uh, we are calling it as user collection now we need to deconstruct user collection and author collection okay so we are getting an error here okay so there was a typo we should have closed the quotation before the comma let's save it okay so the server is up and running now let's define um, the resolver for author author resolver so let's define okay so before that in index we extracted or deconstructed the author collection which we need to send in the apollo server so we are sending only user collection we need to send the author collection also so let's save the index file then let's call author resolvers is equal to we need to define for mutation the resolver for mutation so let's bring this author here so the resolver name resolver name is add author
so add, add author then the parent then we get input then we get me and here we need author collection in fact most of the code should look like uh, this register code so let's move the user resolver here so most of the functionality will be similar to this register function right so we need author collection so here it is a arrow function we have to save it so it will be async function uh, because it is async well, let's handle try catch okay so from here we need to again check for logged in user so only the logged in user can create author the same check we did for uh, other cases like display name update okay if it is logged in then we need to get the user collection we need to call new user collection and we need to pass input dot name and input dot accolades so let's just check the typo accolades yeah so once we have the author instantiated so let's save it author dot save this is await because we are saving it to database and the return value is author saved then let's return author after this let's export same author resolvers and in resolver index let's require author resolver call it author resolver and pass it here in module resolver okay there is an error yes the error is in author resolver because we are referencing an object uh, value we can't just use it so what we have to do is name is equal to input dot name and accolades is equal to accolades input dot accolades okay okay so let's test it out let's go to the playground to test it out let's go to the playground i have already logged in got the token added the token in http headers here so let's see the mutation mutation we need author type of author input and then add author input is author 
we can extract ID, name, and accolades. And this is the input we can give. Let's cut. Let's paste it. Okay, so we got ID, author, and accolades as null. So probably we did some typo somewhere. So let's go to author type def. We called it accolades. This is accolades. Okay. In the model. Okay, so collates and here in accolades. Okay, so there is a typo in models. We didn't call it accolades. Let's give one more try. Let's say author two. Okay, so now we get NY best author. Uh, as an output from the GraphQL. So now let's see on the DB, how is it working? So remember we installed uh, this MongoDB for VS Code. So let's go to that and refresh the database, book club. Now we have author collection and user collection. This author collection we added now after running these mutations. There are two documents. The first document is the first author, which didn't have accolades. The second is the second author. So this completes add author mutation. Let us implement create book functionality. So few things need to happen for create book. First, user need to be logged in. The session needs to be valid. The author an existing author needs to be linked to the book and book needs to be created in the book uh, collection and finally the same book copy needs to be linked to uh, the logged in user as book owned so let's start with book type def we need to create a mutation uh, implement the functionality so let's add a root query here below query type mutation let's call create book it takes an input of type book input type it shouldn't be null and it should return book then let's define this input book input the book input should have an image which is not null title it should also have an author uh, it should be having a genre and description. This rating and reviews, they will be added later. We don't need them when a book is being created. So let's take out the review. Rating. And in author, we will not be giving an author. In, in fact, we'll be giving uh, the ID of an existing author. So it will be of type string. Now we created the type mutation. Let's go to user type def. Here we have created mutation. In author type def, let's also call it extend type mutation. So let's save the book type also. Now let's go to models and we need to create a model for book. Let's call 
book model is equal to new mongoose dot schema let's drag this book type on the left panel so book needs to have image of type string title of string then author ID of string then we need genre of type string we need rating of type float and we need description of type string and we need reviews reviews is an array so let's just keep it uh, as an array for now when we implement adding review we will define what those elements of this array need to be let's export this book model book collection also we'll call book collection is equal to mongoose dot model we'll call book collection and we will pass the book model and let's include in the export now the model is taken care let's go to index so let's get book collection from the module then let's pass this book collection to the server in context okay so there is an error okay so the rating float is not defined so this has to be a number okay now let's implement the resolver for this let's open book resolver and let's move the book type def on the side so we need to define a mutation the mutation we need to implement is create book and let's write an arrow function let's start with a sync function as we have to modify database because it is a sync let's handle errors error so what are all the things we need here so first is on the parent again we are not going to use parent here similar to the prior patterns let's extract the input and from context we need book model we need user model and we need me so the first thing we need to check is the user is logged in and session is valid so if that is not the case then throw new error and the message is login to create book 
if it is not the case then let's deconstruct the values from input so what are the values we are going to get we are going to get image we are going to get title we are going to get author id we are going to get genre and we are going to get description so the first thing we need to check is from the author id we need to see if that author id exists meaning that author is valid so for that in the context we also need access to author model so first author model dot find by id and let's give author id this is an await so let's call our author in db so if this author in db doesn't exist that we need to throw new error author not found add author first add author before creating book very descriptive message if the user uh, author exists then we need to proceed to save the book in book model so for that new book model and we need to pass in image title author id genre and description let's call it constant book saved then we need to call book saved dot save this will be an await function let's call it book in db finally what we need to do is to add this book to me object in me uh, books owned so for that let's check the uh, user type def we have uh, sorry no, uh, not user type def in model we have defined the email the password the name we need to have uh, books owned books owned is an array the array will have two objects one is book id which is going to be a string and second needs to be uh, we need to check whether the this book is available for renting or not or available for borrowing so we will put a flag called available so we'll call it as boolean while we are at it let's add books rented also so the book rented is also an array here everything will be everything will be uh, just a string uh, just a list of book ids um, so let's just say it is a string okay so let's save this
next in the resolver uh, we need to get access to the user model user model dot find one and update what are we going to find by what is the filter criteria the filter criteria is underscore id is equal to me dot id then let's define the second flag uh, or second object this is the push we need to push uh, we need to update a array so we'll use the push operator what we need to push we need to push uh, where we need to push we need to push it to books owned and we need to pass in an object the object is book id is equal to some value and uh, and second available this available we will mark it as true so what will be this book id the book id will be whatever book we saved and that id we need to get so book id dot underscore id so the whole operation is await user updated is equal to this and we defined that we are going to return book in db or book as a return value return book let's save it okay so first good thing there are no errors here so there are no obvious uh, syntactical errors it is time to go to our play playground and start testing this so on the playground i have prepared this mutation query i have given this uh, input very input type also so let's test uh, one by one first is i am not giving this xauth token so i'm expecting uh, the login error message okay so first test is passed we need to log in to create a book so now i have already logged in uh, meaning i have created the token so i'm just pasting it here now the author i have given it a non existing id so i'm expecting this author id this error to fail okay so we are getting a different error method i think there is a typo let's go to the visual studio code let's go to resolver so in resolver let's hide the file okay so c author okay so there is this author c author it should be author model let's save okay let's give it one more try okay so model oh we need to get book collection not model book collection so this is what we are sending book collection then user collection and author collection all book model we need to change everywhere book collection user collection Uh, 
collection, user collection, author collection, then input, okay, uh, author collection, author collection, throw new error, book collection, book.saved, user collection, okay, now it should be good. okay so now we are getting an error message about the id uh, we passed in as this dummy so we needed to give the id so let's try giving in the real id which i took it from author model okay so now we give the correct id and we are getting a success message so let's go to our collection here and let's refresh the database okay so the first check is book collection so we got first book collection so we are seeing the image the book title the author id the genre and the description okay so first test is passed next uh, let's go to user collection Here, okay, so here uh, I gave the uh, token for P2 user, P2 a test. So now we see the book ID. The book ID is this, and the available is true. So we have successfully uh, implemented the resolver for create book. So in this video, we started off by implementing the logout functionality in backend for JSON web token. We used node cache package, uh, which is an in-memory cache solution. Second, we implemented the create author resolver and also we uh, implemented slightly involved uh, resolver for create book. Let's wrap for this video. See you in next.